Good morning, folks. I'm over at um, the Organ Pipes National Park here, just outside Melbourne in Australia. One of my favourite locations here in Melbourne. And I'm just on my way down to the creek to see what I can see today. Hopefully a platypus. <laughs> I live in hope. But on my way on this footpath here, I've come across this outcrop, outcrop of rock. And sitting right on top of it is a tree. Now it had, well, there are other trees around here. And um, some of them are looking a bit. Uh, worse for wear, probably in the drought, but this particular one sitting right on top of this rock outcrop. And it seems to be doing quite well, so I'll just out of interest I'll just make my way around to the top to see how it managed to get such a good foothold on top of a boulder. Hi folks, I'm made my way around to the top of this boulder now and sure enough um, it's um, seemed to have uh, took a foothold right on top of this boulder here must have been enough soil and nutrient for the seed to germinate and get a, get a foothold and by the looks of it it's done quite well ever since surprisingly enough because um, there are a few of its companions here who I think uh, for reasons why I'm not quite sure why it certainly didn't survive um, when it rains because there's quite steep slopes in this valley um, I get the impression that it wouldn't retain if there was any rain it wouldn't retain it for very long it'd probably run off down to the creek but uh, this one certainly uh, got a little niche where it's done very well on top of a boulder so there we are but I'm going to continue on now down to um, down this beautiful valley to get down to Jackson's Creek Hi folks, I'm actually down at Jackson's Creek now on this beautiful sunny day. And just notice these um, very, very common aquatic insect, the pond scoters. No idea the um, scientific name for these uh, insects, but it's just marvellous how they've evolved to move along the surface or using the tension on the surface of the water. to move along. I don't really know what it'd be interesting to find out what their diet is actually. I wonder why that is not in focus anyway. Oh that one's in focus. There's, there seems to be a group of them here. There's quite a few of them sort of grouped together in this area. I don't really know why on the edge of this bank here.
Every now and again there's gusts of wind that blow across the surface of the water making ripples. But that doesn't seem to be bothering them too much. So yeah, a pond skater. Rowing along the river with its specially evolved oars. Hmm. It's like having a bit of a race. You can get to the nearest. Bit of food first, no, only kidding. They seem to be pointing in the same direction, probably because that's the way the where the, the water flows, maybe. <laughs> 